Probably one of the most extensive passages of scripture that really emphasizes what the called forth is, or again, the church, as in most English Bibles, is found in Paul's analogy of the called forth as a wife in Ephesians chapter 5. In verses 22 through 33, Paul gives practical advice to married couples using the called forth's relationship to Yeshua as a pattern for marriage, while at the same time using marriage as a picture of the called forth. It's really quite brilliant the way he moves seamlessly between the two, turning a discussion about the relationship between husbands and wives into an insight into the mystery of Messiah and the called forth. So let's take a look at this whole passage, and we'll get a little marriage counseling while we're at it. So let's start in verse 22. He begins by addressing the wives. Submit yourselves to your own husbands as to the master, because the husband is head of the wife, as also the Messiah is head of the called forth. He is savior of the body. So right off the bat, Paul compares submission to one's husband to submission to Yeshua. In the first comparison, he says wives should submit to their husbands as they presumably already submit to the master. This standard for submission should negate any objection to it, at least in principle. It establishes that submission in and of itself isn't bad or unsafe, as some might think of it today. But on the contrary, it is righteous and good. If you can submit to Messiah, you can submit to your husband. And we'll get to the husband's responsibility in this in a minute. In the second comparison, Paul says that the husband is the head of the wife and that wives should submit to that headship as also the Messiah is head of the called forth. Paul also extends this metaphor by saying that the called forth in relation to the head is the body of the Messiah and he is our savior. So wife's submission to her husband is like our collective submission to Yeshua as our head, as well as a physical body submission to its head. For the husband then, being the head of the wife, this means that it's his job to lead. And that's the reason that Paul gives for wives to submit, because the husband is the head. And he needs the cooperation of his wife in order to be the effective leader that God's called him to be. And this is the same reason why the called forth also submits to Messiah, because he's our leader and we can't be resisting and working against his word and leadership and guidance. Otherwise, we're just a headless body. So whether it's husbands with their wives or Messiah with his called forth, submission is part of what enables that organism to function properly. In order to have a marriage that's functional and in order, the wife needs to submit to the husband. And in order for Yeshua's body to be functional and in order, the called forth needs to submit to the Messiah. Paul sums this up very plainly in verse 24 when he says, But as the called forth is submitted to Messiah, so also are the wives submitted to the husbands in everything. But Paul doesn't leave it at that. He then goes on to give both wives and the called forth very good reason to trust their submission to their respective leaders. Continuing in verse 25, he then turns to the husbands and says, Love the wives, as the Messiah also loved the called forth and gave himself for her, so that he might set her apart, so that he might present her to himself the glorious called forth. In this same way, the husbands also ought to love their own wives as their own bodies, as the Messiah also loves the called forth, since we are members of his body. So the requirement that Paul places on husbands, because Yeshua modeled it first, isn't to rule over his wife with a heavy hand while she just obeys him in fear. That's the exact opposite of how husbands are supposed to behave toward their wives because that's not how God behaves toward those who love him. Instead, husbands are meant to love their wives as the Messiah also loved the called forth 
and gave himself for her. The kind of love that a husband is supposed to have for his wife is the kind that Yeshua has for the called forth. Even though Yeshua and husbands are the head, even though they have the full authority to rule, a Messiah-like love doesn't allow them to put themselves first, but rather it is self-sacrificial. It gives itself up for the sake of his loved ones. Just as Yeshua so loved the world and willingly went to the execution stake for the called forth, husbands are to lead and love self-sacrificially for their wives. <laughs>